Hey guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here. In front of me, I have the Cavalli Stage 2 specific for the Evo 10. Behind me, I have our Evo 10, which means I am going to be installing this today on our Evo. Yippee! <laughs> so I am super excited for this. Um, the Evo's been needing more power. Well, of course, it always needs more power, but uh, I've been wanting more power in it, and uh, I feel like this Cavalli Stage 2 is going to be Perfect. Uh, I am, I can't, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I can't even say anything. I'm so excited. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and talk about the turbo. So uh, it does come with an upgraded Turbo Smart wastegate, which is fantastic, and that comes on its stock. So I guess I shouldn't say upgrade because that's just uh, the way it is right out of the box. Uh, this is a fantastic turbo. Let me show you. Okay, on the CHRA or the uh, midsection here, uh, it is all CNC'd aluminum. They use their own uh, ball bearings and all this kind of crazy stuff. Basically, Cavalli takes these turbos and uh, makes them as good as they possibly can. Um, one thing, and this is kind of lame, but I love this. If you look carefully, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video, but right here on the front, you have this uh, cone. And I'm sure it serves some aerodynamic purpose of, you know, basically directing air over and into the uh, turbine wheel there. Um, I just think it looks freaking awesome. I don't know why I love that so much. It hurts if you touch it because it's very sharp, but it is awesome. Uh, okay, I should mention, this is a direct bolt-on turbo. Uh, a couple things you'll notice is it doesn't come with lines or anything like that. So we're just gonna, you know, take off the factory lines from the stock turbo pop it on here. Uh, we're gonna throw in some studs and other than that, this is literally gonna bolt right onto the factory manifold. And like I said, I am just so excited for this turbo. I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, not only peak power and peak torque, but also just how it drives. This is a, you know, being that it's their stage two, it's still a, you know, very much a street turbo. So we're not going for any crazy numbers, but this still should produce a good amount of power and it should be very quick to spool, very quick to react. Um, I am just so stoked to get this installed on this car. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but I'm very, very excited to get this installed in the car. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so we've just installed the Cavalli Stage 2 Turbo on our Evo 10, and we've got a, a pretty decent tune on it. However, we are going for a even better tune on E85. We're going for some max horsepower. Uh, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be throwing up that dyno video here roughly about a week. But I wanted to give you guys my initial impression on this turbo as it sits on the car right now. So we're going to of give her the beans just a little bit here along this back end road and wow okay so <laughs> initial impressions the car pulls so much harder uh than the factory turbo uh, this is a significantly larger turbo compared to stock. I mean, we're not going, you know, we weren't, we're, we don't want 700 horsepower or anything like that in this car, but we wanted it to be 
uh, still very streetable. Uh, we do a lot of autocross with this car. We do take it out to the track. So we needed a very uh, well-rounded turbo, and I think this is just about perfect. Uh, power really starts to come on right around 3,500 to 4,000 RPMs, and that's when, I mean, it just throws you to the back of the seat. Uh, power on the freeway, I mean, the more load you put onto this uh, turbo, the harder and harder it pulls. Uh, let's talk about install. Uh, installation was actually very simple. I did have to uh, remove, you know, the uh, fittings from the stock turbo and throw it on the Cavalli turbo before I installed it. But other than that, everything installed just like stock. Um, I would recommend new gaskets, uh, especially if yours are looking a little shabby. So just be aware of that before you go to install basically any turbo. Other than that, I'm incredibly pleased uh, with this turbo and I'm excited to show you guys the results we get from it uh, once we do our final tune on it. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.